reacting to the government's decision to restart procuring subsidized fertilizers from the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers and provide farmers of this state with 50% subsidy. Leader of opposition Dr. Mukul Sangma said that the previous government had initiated Mission Organic and Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself had appreciated and encouraged the mission. When we talk about Mission Organic, Mission Organic and the, the whole endeavor of number of state governments have been highly appreciated by everyone and that is needed. That is needed. And that is needed and that's why it was acknowledged and ultimately encouraged by the Prime Minister himself. The Honorable Prime Minister himself referred to you know various initiatives to encourage organic farming. Another important thing which our people understands is that our people whatever farming activities are on, are organic by default. Okay. Now, when we say organic by default, we also have to understand that there are certain areas where fertilizers, chemical fertilizers are being utilized. So you have to do the mapping where you want to promote. Now, when you're embarking upon an initiative, there is no shortcut. There is no shortcut. No program can be implemented and completed particularly a program of this nature. How many hundreds of thousands of hectares are there which are being used by the farmers for cultivation? So you go step by step. So what we did, the state mission organic, we first decided to initiate these organic farming activities with the farmers in the tea garden. Okay, like small, small things. Then subsequently we gave them a target of 20,000 hectares. Then subsequently we added another 20,000 hectares. So that means your whole approach to promote organic farming is in those designated and identified areas. That has to be understood by them. Hmm. So yet again we have uh, lost one line. And another thing, what has happened to the mission organic? What has happened? Down the drain. Down the drain. Let them tell the Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister, why, why they have uh, messed up the whole thing. And uh, ultimately, the whole mission resulting in this kind of flip-flop. After so much of money has been invested, not only from the state's own resources, but even the resources which were passed on to the state government by Government of India. They have messed up. And this whole investment has gone down the drain because of their lack of knowledge, lack of initiative, and I must tell you, complete insensitivity. Because when we tell them to do th things correctly, they are always on denial mode. They act as accused. When you are telling somebody, okay, what you are doing is not correct, please correct it in the larger interest of the state. Then they feel that they are being accused. Well, we will have to be receptive to suggestions. And if we have gone wrong anywhere, we must correct ourselves. For whose interest? For the interest of the people, for the interest of the state. And at the same time, please let them remember that whatever initiatives are being embarked upon, whatever programs are being implemented, there are scarce resources from the public exchequer which are involved in it. So it is incumbent upon any policymaker, any authority to see that public money is not wasted just like that. And whatever investment is made is accentuated in a manner that it benefits the people, it benefits the state. Meanwhile, AITC State President Charles Pinrobe opined that organic farming can only be done in a phased manner or else there could be a food shortage. The best option is to go for organic farming, organic. But to do that, it takes time, uh, a period of years, for the soil to get revitalized. Therefore, in the initial years, you cannot do it in one step. That is my understanding. You have to do it in a, in a manner in a, where it is, you know, all the, in the years that comes. Because in one shot, if you do it, then there can be a possibility of a food shortage, scarcity. Because the output from a soil which has been starved of fertilizer immediately. That will have its own repercussions. But it should be done in a phased manner where eventually we have to do away with fertilizer. Which means we go in for intensive farming. Intensive farming, multi cropping farming, uh, high yielding varieties, drought resistant varieties, and varieties that can withstand 
the frequencies of weather. So that is how you go and do it in a holistic, what in, what in the assembly you said, scientific farming. Unfortunately, the Honorable Minister uh, wasn't uh, ready to give us a proper